everyone welcome back to my channel ahl creative world if you are stopping by on my channel for the very first time please do consider to subscribe i'll be sharing a lot of diys uh, in different uh, home decor festival decor kids crafts as well so in this video i'm sharing this complete set of uh, tulsi planter and also diyas painting so this is uh, a simple painting as a spring has arrived so i thought it's uh, good to have uh, our planters be uh, set up and get ready so the tulsi planter i got it from india so as you can see the tulsi planter is just a palm size which is very perfect for housewarming if you are planning uh, to take inside the uh, house the new house so this is very small and uh, simply you can just uh, have one of the tulsi planters uh, for the initial setup at least or for puja and uh, for any tulsi puja at home this is really perfect i believe so for uh, this one i just applied uh, gesso as a primer gesso is nothing but a white uh, thick paint so if you do not know i will be leaving all the product links in the description so you can very well watch anytime watching this video you can just uh, check all those links and uh, i have used the simple colors like uh, the acrylic colors and also the chalk paint so the red and yellow uh, is what i use the red chalk paint and uh, yellow acrylic color so i have used two different shades of yellow here so initially i have used a simple yellow color and then i changed it to golden yellow because golden yellow is what i thought it is giving more uh, traditional indian look and uh, then i highlighted uh, wherever it's necessary with uh, by blending into these two colors like uh, using yellow and red so it has got like on the four sides uh, it has uh, ohm and swastik so i just highlighted uh, using a zero size or one size brush here and uh, once the painting is done we'll be just uh, uh, com completely uh, will be painting the other set as well so please do watch the complete video for more details So coming to the next one, I have just uh, used uh, again the red and uh, a yellow color. So the outside portion is completely red and the inside I have used this acrylic yellow color. And uh, same with the Agarbati stand. So I uh, simply used only the red color here. And once the complete painting is done, just let it dry for some time. By the way, this complete set I've got it from Dollar Tree. So you can just check in the Dollar Tree section and uh, you can get it. And this is very perfect if you want to keep uh, the Agarbati stand on top as well. Uh, and inside you can keep the uh. So it's one of the great find I uh, found in Dollar Tree. And uh, the next thing is I started adding all those highlights. Uh, so this is very uh, plain, isn't it, on top and uh, bottom. So using the dotting tools i have used uh, the uh, just uh, wherever it's yellow i have used the red and on red i used the yellow as you are seeing here like i just added the swastik on one of the uh, stand and another one i have used ohm uh, once the highlights is completely done then we'll be doing uh, applying the mod podge I painted uh, diyas using the same acrylic colors. Uh, so these diyas I got it from Indian store. If you're in India, you can get it anywhere. But if you're living outside uh, India, you can just check anywhere in the Indian stores, the local stores where you can get this diyas. So I just painted uh, with the acrylic colors. And then the next thing is uh, this uh, square shaped diya. I used the initial one as the green. And then I used the sheen, extreme sheen. Uh, acrylic colors so this one gives it's like a metallic color i, I can say so this gives nice shine so whenever uh, you want 
some shine or uh, if you want to blend into the, your normal acrylic colors uh, you can always use the uh, extreme sheen colors that gives a nice metallic effect and the uh, last thing is like you can just add those highlights with the uh, 3d outliners uh, from the fevicryl brand again that's from india and then i applied mod podge for all this uh, diy is what i made and uh, this one which we got from a uh, dollar tree usually whenever i paint it is actually sticking onto my uh hand so if you are observing the same kind of issue you just leave it uh, aside for some time and then you can repaint those spots wherever you feel that it's uh, like the paint is coming out otherwise it's all good and then once you it's painted and applied mod podge you can see how well it's uh, shining and it is uh, really looking uh, beautiful isn't it so at last i thought i will be adding some mirrors so that it will give even more uh, nice look uh, so do leave me a comment how you like this uh, DIYs and uh, the last thing is uh, I use these uh, 3D outliners for all the uh, DIYs uh, which I made it today. Uh, so these uh, 3D outliners it comes in a very small bottles but uh, it it is very handy if you want to use for any of your Indian DIYs especially the red and golden uh, it goes uh, hand in hand and it gives a very Indian touch to any of your DIYs isn't it so this Mod Podge when you use it it is uh, really it uh, seals the paint and uh, it protects the complete layer from the dust as well uh, and it also gives a nice shine so do leave me a comment uh, which one you like the most and how you like this complete set and uh, please do share subscribe to my channel so if you want to get more such updates from me regularly please do uh, watch my channel and uh, support me on indian kitchen and diy decor group and you can very well follow me on instagram and facebook page which is anus hobby lobby by the way anus hobby lobby is my food channel so you can very well get uh, some amazing recipes out there so please do uh, watch that space for more updates thank you very much for watching i'll be meeting you all in my next video until then take care bye bye